this console I designed it because there was certain things that I wanted to have in a console and I understand you know the concept of consoles and uh, it's like the guitar it's like the gem you know right. uh, when I designed the gem there was things I liked in Les Pauls and Strats but nothing really suit suited me right you know, like my uh, uh, the way I worked and the way I played and it was just very easy to say, well, why don't I make something like this that has this, 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 and this? And some of the ideas were just stupid practicality. And that's the same thing with this console. It's, um, I like these, these, fi these are 500 series modules. Right. You know? So I wanted a console that I can have these 500 series because all these various companies make all these different modules. So you can get compression and EQ and these mic pre's. These are the mic pre's. Right. Those are APIs, yeah. Yeah, and for my ear, APIs, the old APIs uh, uh, are the best. And I've tried everything. I did intensive um, research on research that. Research, and, and not just research, but, you know, testing. So um, it's nice to have compression in the console, you know, also. Uh, but on this side of the console, I made it um, these modules that uh, are the size of the, the old Neve modules. Oh, yeah, that's right. Those and are there's people that make 1073s. Uh, yeah, 1073s and, uh, but these are um, Brent Averill designs. Sure. Which are, they're knockoffs, but they're made as well you right. know, as the old ones. And, you know, all the knobs are really easy. All the, I tried the new Neve stuff, the AMS Neve stuff, and I, I, I didn't like it at all. This here are modules that were made for me by Steve Furlot, who made the console with uh, Ian Gardner. And they're amazing EQs. I mean, these are all hand-built things. Yeah, you know? of course. And uh, it's a four-band EQ with, with cues in it and really clean preamps. You know, Steve uses these. Uh, they're all blocks. There's no chips in any of this stuff. Right. You know, so it's very warm and very, um, you know, the phasing is, is completely even and, uh, and, you know, the rest of the console is what it is. You know, it's got right. aux sends and pans, you know, all the normal stuff. And this was something I just couldn't figure out, and it's something that I asked a lot of people about. Most consoles have the, um, the aux section and the, the, uh, the uh, strip section down here and the EQ back here. Okay. Which I've always hated because when you're when you're sitting and you're in the listening window, which is right here. Right. You know, you gotta you know, if I'm sitting down and I'm mixing and I got you know the big oh, you speakers, have to stretch. Yeah, you gotta you know, you go like you go like this and you're out of the window. Exactly. And there's a big difference between EQing something here and EQing it over here. It's of a course. big difference, you know. So I could never understand why they always put the EQ so far away. And I would ask all these engineers and all these, you know, these companies and everything, and they say, we don't know. That's just the way it's always been done. And that's my first cue to change it. Huh? Stupid practicality. <laughs> How about these guitars? There's a lot these of acoustic, different... Uh, yeah. These are various stuff. acoustic guitars and stuff and acoustic electrics. Is that a yuku right there? Yep. There's a cavaquino, a ukulele, a mandolins. Banjo. That's a... Banjo. It's a five string, yeah? Yeah, it's uh, yeah a four plus one. Banjo yeah, kind of thing, you know, because I, I don't really play banjo. Got it. 